this video, we're going to take a look at a double angle problem that involves our double angle formulas. We're specifically going to be looking for a cosine of 2 theta. And up here for reference, I have given the three possible double angle formulas for that cosine of 2 theta. All right, so we're given here the cotangent of theta is, and theta is in between 180 degrees and 270 degrees, which puts us there in that third quadrant. They're asking us to find the cosine of 2 theta. All right, now this I pretty much set up as a three-step problem. All right, we're going to use our bow tie triangle, so that's going to be our step one. And we'll use, of course, our a squared plus b squared equals c squared to come up with our Pythagorean triple here, and then we'll be able to use this to come up with any values that we need. All right, so our step two will be to find any values. So let's just say any needed values. Okay, now, while I do have three steps here, we may not always necessarily do the three steps in, this, in the chronological order here because my third step is going to be to use the formula. Sometimes I will look at the problem, decide which formula I'm going to use, and then come back and do questions one and two. That way I'll know exactly what I need and I'll have my triangle to get those values. All right, now since I am asking for the cosine of 2 theta, I have a choice. I can choose any of these uh, three formulas, and it's going to uh, get the same answer. Now, sometimes you will choose these formulas based on what you're given. If I'm given the sine value, well, then I should use the third formula because I've already got it. It's going to be easy. I won't have to do steps one and two. I can just go straight to this. If I'm given a cosine value, well, then I could use the middle formula. And again, I wouldn't have to do steps one and two. I can immediately go to evaluating the formula. All right, but since this one I'm given a cotangent, there's no cotangents in any of those. It really doesn't matter which formula you use. So let's just go with that middle one and say that we're going to use... 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. That's the formula I'm going to use, which means I'm going to need to find, with that given information, a cosine value to be able to plug in. All right, so we looked right here, and we already said that this is quadrant 3. All right, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to draw that bow tie triangle in quadrant 3. So there's my bow tie triangle with theta being right there. All right, now we know cotan uh, cotangent is adjacent over opposite, all right, so my adjacent side here would be the 4, all right, and my opposite side here would be the 3. Now, to make it a little more um, correct with the coordinate plane here, technically this needs to be a negative 4 and a negative 3 because we're going to the left and we're going down from the origin, all right, and then a negative divided by negative is positive, so of 3, 4, 5 because it is a right triangle. So if not, you would need to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared to calculate that. All right, but we know that hypotenuse there is 5. Okay, now the only value I need is cosine, so that's my step 2. So I'm going to find that cosine of theta value. I'm going to use the bow tie triangle that I drew right here. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so my adjacent side is the negative 4. My hypotenuse is the 5, so that's going to be a negative 4 fifths. All right, now, once I've got the value I need, it's a matter of just plugging it in here. So I'm going to have 2 times a negative 4 fifths. It is being squared, and then minus 1. So a little bit of arithmetic here. So 2 times 16 over 25 minus 1. All right, going ahead and multiplying this out, we'll have a 32 over a 25. Since I am subtracting here and I have a fraction, I need to convert this into a fraction with the same denominator, so we'll make that 25 over 25. And then 32 minus 25 on top is going to give me a 7. So overall value there of 7 over 25. So just one quick example here of a double angle formula. All right, and very systematically you can use that three steps, uh, but depending on what you're given and which formula you actually need and use, you might not need all three steps. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.